Hello and welcome. Now we will review acid base disorders. So, first of all, while checking whether it is acidosis or alkalosis, you have to check. First step is check pH. If pH is low, think about acidosis. Then you have to go for PaCO2, carbon dioxide, and then you have to go for bicarbonate. So, the uh, PaCO2 which uh, tells you the respiratory cause and bicarbonate with pH it tells you about metabolic cause so here is pH is low which is acidosis and bicarbonate is low which means metabolic acidosis now then the PaCO2 is normal it doesn't tell about respiratory cause so what are the compensation of metabolic acidosis Compensatory organ is lung. So the formula is arterial PaCO2 will be, uh, you can uh, calculate by this formula 1.5 into serum bicarbonate plus 8 plus minus 2. So when you check uh, this formula and it, if it is not uh, relate with the, the lab values, so it means it, it is not compensating. And if it is with the, in the same range or it match with the lab values, so it does tell you that it is compensating. So the the highlight point is you need to remember the compensatory organ. The case of metabolic disorder is metabolic acidosis is lung. Metabolic alkalosis. Now first step is check pH. If it is high alkalosis, then the next step is PaCO2. If it is normal then we have to skip it and then move on to the bicarbonate which is high so pH high and bicarbonate high think about metabolic alkalosis okay the compensatory organ is lung and what lung is doing it actually increase PaCO2 so these uh, thing, uh, these uh, lines are related to just telling about metabolic alkalosis I put this on to understand how to check metabolic alkalosis it is not uh, related to and I didn't put about uh, the values of uh, compensation so just think about lung will be there to compensate and it increase PaCO2 and patient will hypoventilate okay now respiratory acidosis so first of all first step is pH is low think about acidosis then we can move on to PaCO2 if it is high think about respiratory problem when you see bicarb is normal of course it will be respiratory acidosis and the exa example is COPD okay let me just go for the example of uh, metabolic acidosis metabolic acidosis the examples are what are the example of metabolic acidosis metabolic acidosis is hyperkalemia DKA and all the annoying gap metabolic acidosis metabolic alkalosis is when you get contraction volume contraction uh, like uh, hyperaldosteronism vomiting okay now respiratory acidosis the example is COPD chronic, obstru uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease so for respiratory now lung partner is kidney now kidney is trying to compensate what it does here you see PaCO2 is high so what kidney is going to do is kidney is going to increase serum bicarb actually it is going to reabsorb bicarbonate which makes which increase serum bicarbonate now respiratory alkalosis so respiratory alkalosis is pH first, first step is pH high it is alkalosis then we have to see PaCO2 oh it is low now what would we do now now we have to go for the third step is bicarbonate if it is normal then you have to check PaO2 uh, oxygen if oxygen is high it's mean 
a patient and the uh, carbon dioxide is low then you have to think about it is respiratory alkalosis the patient is breathing and uh, and the oxygen is high so respiratory alkalosis you can say hyperventilate so here is the example what is the example of respiratory alkalosis aspirin toxicity okay now what are the compensation now think about here kidney has to do what kidney has to do kidney has to decrease or increase decrease serum bicarbonate kidney has to excrete bicarbonate now here is the example this is like first first step is to check pH of course it is 7.2 acidosis you can check your normal values normal range by yourself pH is 7.2 PaCO2 is 26 PaO2 is 100 bicarb is 15 so first step is pH pH is 7.2 so it is acidosis right by yourself acidosis then PaCO2 it is decrease so in the case of respiratory acidosis we check we see high PaCO2 so it is low and then the third step is we see bicarbonate it is also low it is not actually compensating so th think about uh, then if bicarbonate plus pH is both are low we, we just uh, review about metabolic acidosis so and when you see that the oxygen is increased 100 it, it actually tells mixed cause both are there what is this when you see pH pCO2 and PO2 you think about respiratory alkalosis yes respiratory alkalosis then when you combine with bicarb it is not actually compensating so you will think about uh, metabolic acidosis so it is mixed cause respiratory alkalosis with metabolic acidosis respiratory alkalosis with metabolic acidosis so example was aspirin toxicity actually what aspirin does aspirin increase production of lactic acid keto acid and it is the end of the topic I know it does not complete whole stuff but I tried my best to show you in quick video to understand a little bit of acid based disturbance thank you and please subscribe for more videos thanks